What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel Kings TCG and today we have the first Yu-Gi-Oh product of the year that we are going to open together. I'm really looking forward to this first booster set of the year and we're coming at you with Maze of Millennia. And there are several re uh, reasons why this product is such an amazing product because of course we just continue with the quarter century rares um, we have collector rares in this set, a bunch of cool support cards for archetypes like uh, Xyz, Earthbound, so that's amazing. And we will see some brand new cards straight from the anime. So cards that Yugi used, Pegasus used, all those type of cards we're gonna see back in this set. So can't wait, let's dive straight on into this. Before I start, we are at... Um, 393 subscribers at the moment it will be amazing if we can hit that 400 subscribers will be absolutely insane would appreciate that a lot so please guys give this channel a subscription it will be absolutely amazing and uh, of course like comment subscribe hit that notification button if you want to stay tuned for more videos like this and check out the Instagram page Kings TCG Loba Yu-Gi-Oh. I will put the link in the description down below. So we got one full card in every pack, seven cards per pack, 24 packs per box. So I believe the total number of cards in the set is 85. We will start with the left side of the box. And guys, we got Triple Tactic Trust in here as a reprint. So it would be absolutely amazing if you can pull a copy of that card as an ultra rare. We start off with Magispector Toad Ogama, one Perfumet, Salamandra with Chain, one of those uh, enemy related cards. We got Full Armored Crystal Zero Lancer, D Synchro, Supreme King Dragon Dark Worm, and we start with the Arcana Force XV the Fiend. Also, new support for the Arcana Force archetype. We got Combat Wheel. Alter Guys Marionetta, Doppel Warrior, Reinforce, 100 Ice Dragon. I see that the printing of these names isn't that amazing. Hopefully, it's just only this pack. Alter Guys Silquitis, and we got an Earthbound Servant Geo Griffin. Look at that. Really nostalgic vibes, the Urbound archetype from the um, uh, 5Ds, I believe. We got Supreme King, Dragon Dark, Rebellion, Salamandra Fusion, Magispector Kraoyata, Totem Pole, Urbound Geolith. Urban Creator, Line Walker, and our Eye of Illusion. I really hope that I could pull this card. Absolutely insane. I'm thinking if this is um, that card which Pegasus used in that TV duel against Yugi, like in one of the first episodes, or that he just caught um, that move of himself that he could see through your hand. Which cards you had in your hand, if that was called the Eye of Illusion. But really nostalgic card. Very cool to see this one. Love the artwork as well. So our first Ultra of today's opening is a fact. Beautiful. It's also printed here on the booster itself. And one of the best cards in this set as well is uh, Bonfire. Because the Fire archetype is really, really good at the moment with... Of course, the Fire Kings, but also um, 
the Info Noble Knights. You see, more cards have that pretty shitty printing in the names. Supreme King Dragon Clearwing, Urbound Servant Geo Kraken, Supreme King Dragon Odd Eyes, Synchro Chase, and Magispector Raccoon Bunkuku. Or Bunbuku. <laughs> We got full armored uh, Crystal Zero Lancer, Supreme Rage, Marriage Swordsman, Emergency Rescue, Cabrera Stone, and an Urbound Servant Geo Gresha. Really cool to see all these uh, all these new Urban cards. Really wondering if it will give it a boost to the archetype. Would cool to see some more variation in um, just in the whole Yu-Gi-Oh game because now if you go to locals or tournaments, like 60-70% of the players play the same uh, the same decks. Of course, I can understand because people just play the decks that are relevant and good at the moment. But more variation is always cool. I see that there are a lot of Altergeist cards as well. Really cool, because that is one uh, one of the cooler archetypes in my opinion. Really fun. Synchro Chase, Urbound Prison. A friend of mine has, uh, has an Altergeist deck. Used to play against Altergeist a lot, so I know it quite well. Prim Banshee, Fighting Flame Dragon. Chimera got Flying Mythical Beast and we got Contain. Urbound Servant Geo Gremlin. Altergeist Marionetta. And we got a Kai Top... Oh, there he goes. Kai Top Terra. Dinosaur Monster. If your opponent controls two or more phased monsters except Wind, those monsters cannot target this card for attacks. You can only use each of the following effects once per turn. During main phase, at one Polymerization. Uh, from deck to hand, if this card is banished, special summon it. Then you can add one polymerization from grave to hand again. Alright, so basically search for polymerization. In the form of a dino, so that's pretty cool. We got Servant Geo Kraken, Meluseek, oh, Gazelle, the King of Mythical Beast. And sometimes I'm a little confused because you got the new illusion uh, archetype, of course, and that's all around these gazelle, uh, gazelle type of monsters. And then you see these cards, and they are still beast and not illusion. So that's a bit weird sometimes. We got Millennium Revelation, full armored Black Ray Lancer, Jet Synchron, and we got Fighting Flame Swordman, our second ultra rare. Add one card from deck to hand that mentions Flame Swordsman. When, it when an attack is declaring involving a Fire Warrior, you can target one card on the field, destroy it. Um, I believe the Info Noble Knights are Warriors, has to be, so could also be an interesting card to play in that archetype. Alright, cool, second Ultra. Totem Pole, Supreme King, Gate Zero, Magispector Cyclone, Odd Eyes, Horns Horus, maybe one of the fusion targets for Kytoptera, Ring Announcer, and we got Flame Sword Realm. So, also a bunch of new sw uh, Flame Swordsman uh, related cards. Joey would be glad if he saw this. Such a cool and nostalgic card as well. Urbound Prisoner Groundkeeper Doppel Warrior Alert Full Armored Black Ray Lancer Supreme Rage Gazelle again 
and we got the Arcana Force, which we pulled in our first pack. Let's go on, we got two more packs on the left side of the box, before we move over to the right side. Unbound Release, Sun God Unification, a lot of um, Legendary Duelist Rage of Ra uh, cards reprinted in here. This is also one of them, Millennium Revelation, Satellite Synchron, and we got an Ashoka Pillar. Pillar. All right. Emergency Major Spectre Toad Ogama Triangle O. Cool. Supreme King Dragon Clear Wing Reinforce Fighting Flame Dragon. And we got the Urbound Prisoner Stone Sweeper. To end of the left side of the box. So we continue with the right side. Still 12 more packs to go. We still have that chance of pulling a, a quarter century rare. Or a collector's rare. With both of them. Or I mean just one of them. I would be insanely happy. So let's go. So guys, if you like this video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel because it would be insane if we can reach that 400 subs. And let me know in the comments which of these archetypes in this set is your favorite. We have Sun God Unification, Immortal, Triangle O. And we got a Harmonic Synchro Fusion, another Ultra. Really, really cool. So that's a third ultra for today. And in a lot of boxes, um, three ultras is like the pull rate. So I don't know if we are true or ultras or maybe that collector rare or quarter century rare is waiting somewhere for us. Salamandra with chain, flame swords dance. Urbound Prisoner Line Walker, Code Hack, Contain, and Flame Swords Realm. Alright. Magispector Cyclone, Reinforce, Circuitus, Extinguish, Malusik, Multifaker, and Urbound Servant Geogresha. You probably will have a decent, uh, decent decor of Arthur guys after opening one box of this. I just love those anti-meta decks. Just messing around a bit with your opponent. Salamandra Fusion, cool, Desynchro. King Gain Infinity, Alert, Protocol, Flame Swords Dance, and another Arcana Force XV The Fiend. Alright, we have Mirage Swords. Oh, we go too quick. Mirage Swordsman, King Dragon Darkworm, Baphomet. Prima Banshee, Supreme King, Gate Zero, Gate Infinity. We go from Skill 1 to Skill 13. And Salamandra, the Flying Flame Dragon. Really cool. It's just really a Flame Swordsman archetype. Really love that. Really cool. I think it's time to do my special pack opening. Open it pretty carefully, which will please the Yu-Gi-Oh gods and give me an insane card. All right. Ripped it a little bit right there, but let's see if we 
can still get something good. Urban Line Walker, King Dragon Dog Rebellion, Chimera the Flying Mythical Beast, Hexia, Rescue, Toad Ogama. Oh, okay. <laughs> we got an Ultra, so definitely worked out. Drastic Draw. Banish all monsters your control. Minimum two. Draw three cards. You cannot normal or special summon the turn you activate this card. Except cyber monsters. Okay. You can only activate one drastic draw per turn. Pretty interesting. Nice. So uh, our special opening worked pretty good. Maybe we will have to do that one more time again in this video. We got Cabrera Stone, Full Armored, Crystal Zero, Contain, Combat Wheel, Emergency, Reinforce, and Prisoner Stone Sweeper. Most of the rares you have seen by now, of course. Ring Announcer, Dark Rebellion, Urban Release, Totem Pole, 100 Ice Dragon. Cool. And we have an Earthbound Prison. Let's see, guys. We have one, two, three, four more packs to go. Can we get some last pack luck, maybe? Collector's Rare. Quarter Century Rare. I will be happy with anything. Rescue. Multifaker. Servant Geo Gremlin. Kothak. And Rescue Ace Turbulence. Nice. Insanely powerful card for the Rescue Ace archetype. Geo Glyph. Buffmut, Salamandra with Chain, Desynchro. Oh, we got Fighting Flame Swordsman. Wow, look at this artwork. Another ultra rare, a fifth of this opening. Wow, that's insane. Look how cool this looks. If this card is normal or special summoned at one spell slash trap that mentions Flame Swordsman from deck to hand. If this card is sent to the grave, send one flame swordsman or one monster that mentioned it from deck or extra deck to grave. You can only use each of the effects once per turn. <laughs> really cool. Didn't expect another ultra to be honest. Wow. I didn't really look at a image or card with flame swordsman on it, so... Absolutely beautiful. Brings back a lot of great memories. I hope it does with you as well, guys. Still my favorite anime. It's just as simple as that. The first original one. I'm looking at uh, or I'm watching um, uh, Arc 5 at the moment. Really great anime. Can't complain, but of course the original. Not Nothing can really match with that. It's just the reason why this all started, so. We got Majestic Spectre Crow Yata and a Raccoon Bunbuku. So guys, one more pack to go. I think it's a great idea to open it in the special Royal Kings TCG way. To please the Yu-Gi-Oh Gods and give us something great. All right. Greater Lion Walker. Supreme King Dragon Clear Wing. All right. This is the last card that we are going to pull. It's Ultimate Flame Swordsman. All right. I will definitely take that. Because we didn't have this card pulled yet. And uh, <laughs> also this one. It looks even more ferocious than the other Flame Swordsman card. Absolutely insane. A fusion um, Flame Swordsman. You can target one monster your opponent controls, destroy it. And if you do inflict 500 damage. 
This is a quick effect if this card is equipped with an equip card. At the start of the damage step, if this card battle, you can double this card's attack until the end of this turn. But if you do, destroy it during the end phase. All right. Really love this card, love this artwork, and of course that nostalgic, iconic sword of him. Absolutely insane. So guys, that was it for this opening, Maze of Millennia. Uh, it's just absolutely amazing. We got nostalgia all over here with the Flame Swordsman archetype. Maybe that's the, the, the favorite one of, of this box for me, of the set. I just love the artwork. And for everyone who's following me for a longer time, you all know that I'm a really nostalgic person. So fighting Flame Swordsman, fighting Flame Sword, and of course this Eye of Illusion, which I really hope to pull, and we did. Love the artwork. Brings me back to that uh, TV duel <laughs> of uh, Pegasus and Yugi. Of course you all know where I'm talking about. So guys, that was it for this opening. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. 400 subs, we are almost there. Will be absolutely insane. Um, and turn on that notification button so you don't miss anything out. And check out the Instagram page, Kings TCG Loba Yu-Gi-Oh. I will put the link in the description down below. For now, thanks for watching. Um, there is a new opening coming up. The next product, the two uh, two player starter set. So stay tuned for that, and I hope to see you all next time. Join the gang. Ciao, guys.